All right, so we're going to solve the following equations using the square root method and just practice working with the, the plus or minus notation and simplifying and approximating our answers. So again, we want to notice that we have a perfect square term on the left side. So we can apply the square root property, which is this, taking the square root of both sides. So the left side just becomes x minus 3. And the right side becomes, and again, we have to remember, this would be plus or minus the square root of 50. So the square root of 50, we can simplify. Um, that's the square root of 25 times the square root of 2. So basically, this is equal to um, plus or minus 5 square root of 2. So we're going to simplify all of our square roots, um, take all perfect square factors. So we got x minus 3 equals plus or minus 5 square root of 2. So to solve for x, I just want to add 3 to both sides. And again, we're just going to keep that plus or minus term. Um, we're going to get x equals 3 plus or minus 5 square root of 2. And this is the exact answers written in compact form, that plus or minus um, 5 square root of 2. So we simplified the square root, and this is an acceptable um, answer. These are basically our exact answers because we're using that radical. So if we approximate, we can approximate um, each of these, um, 3 plus 5 square root of 2 is approximately equal to, and 3 minus 5 square root of 2 is approximately equal to. So we're just going to do this on the Desmos calculator online. Um, so the first one is um, 3 plus the square root of, oh, excuse me, plus 5 times the square root of 2. So make sure the expression is the same. And then the next one is minus. So I'm just going to copy this. Whoops. So I'm just going to copy this expression, um, control C, and put it into input, and then just change this to minus. Um, so our two answers. Um, 10.07 and negative 4.07. So we'll go back um, 3 plus um, the square root of 5 was 10 um, or approximately 10.07 and 3 minus was approximately negative 4.07. Alright, so let's go to the next problem. Um, again, we see a perfect square. So the parentheses with the square, so we're going to take the square root of both sides, um, and we're going to end up with 2x plus 5 equaling plus or minus um, the square root of 27. So the square root of 27 um, is the same as the square root of 9 times the square root of 3. So the right side, we can simplify to plus or minus square root of 9 is 3, square root of 3. So we have 2x plus 5 equaling plus or minus 3 square root of 3. So again, we're substituting this for x, so I'll isolate the x term. Um, so we'd end up with 2x equals negative 5 plus or minus 3 square root of 3. And then I need to divide the whole thing by 2. So we would end up with um, x equaling negative 5 plus or minus 3 square root of 3 all over Oh, that was a little shaky. So that would be all over um, 2. So you notice we have both of our answers. 
um, we have a negative 3, or ne excuse me, negative 5 plus 3 square root of 3 all over 2. And then we have And then we have the negative 5 minus 3 square root of 3 all over 2. So if we approximate these with our calculator, here's our exact answer. Um, if I go back to the calculator, um, we have uh, negative 5 oops, plus 3 square root of 3. And then I'm just going to highlight this and hit the division sign. So, so it'll be all over um, two. So our first answer, um, if we round to the nearest um, second decimal place with eight, we round the nine up to a 10, so it'd be 0 0.10. And then I'm just gonna cut and paste our expression here, change this to a negative or a minus. So again, if we, if we approximate to two decimal places, it'd be negative 5.10. So the eight changes the nine to a 10. So going back, um, we got negative five plus three square root of three over two is approximately 0 0.10. And negative five minus was approximately negative 5.1. So here you can pause the video and try this next expression or this next equation, try and solve this for um, using the square root property and approximating your answers. And then you can restart the video and I'll go through the example. Okay, so now that you've tried it, um, let's go through this, apply the square root property, taking the square root of both sides. The left side just becomes three y minus two. And that's going to equal plus or minus the square root of 18. So the plus or minus of the square root of 18 is the same as we can simplify that square root of 9 times the square root of 2. So the right side would become a 3, excuse me, plus or minus 3 square root of 2. So I got 3y minus 2 equals plus or minus 3 square root of 2. So solving for y, we'll add 2 to both sides. Um, we get 3y equals 2 plus or minus 3 square root of 2. And then dividing everything by 3, we're basically getting y equaling 2 plus or minus, or 2 plus or minus 3 square root of 2 all over 3. So if you approximate these, the 2 plus 3 square root of 2 over 2 over 3 is approximately equal to, and then we'll get the other one, 2 minus 3 square root of 2 all over 3. So getting these two values, um, you should get, on your calculator, you should get 4, or excuse me, 2.08. And negative 0 0.75. All right, so again, working with these, the plus or minus symbols um, in our answers, we're going to get some crazy looking answers, but they're totally fine because of the plus or minus um, symbolism and um, the square root terms are not alike. We can't combine those. So, all right, thanks for watching.